hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you've been watching my vlogs you know that i went to saskatoon and i said i was going to go to university of saskatchewan which is what you can see in this video myself and my friend kuridi were just driving to the school and that's what this footage is about from there you're gonna see a clip of us driving all around the university because we're trying to find parking and yeah that's what i'm going to be share with you, sharing with you guys in this video if this is your very first time stopping by you are welcome please do make sure you hit the subscribe button to join the channel and stay tuned for more videos thanks guys enjoy the vlog so this is the outside part we never enter we have not entered yet but this is from outside so i see ah oh, it's not like roadside parking because i don't think we'll be here for that long Just medical court this way. Speaking university. What does that mean? I don't know where I'm driving to. I'm just driving around. I think you have tons. This is university. I don't know how to call it, but I think it's so big. The buildings are not as connect interconnected as in. University of Regina. I don't know what. Maybe this is a research something place. Whatever this thing is. I don't know what that is. Oh, they're growing plants. Like a greenhouse or what? Agriculture, agri food. It makes sense if that place is a this place is a greenhouse. Yeah, so it's definitely that place was a greenhouse thing. What? Well, this is the Dev Baker place. Yes. Yeah, this building here. Like the buildings are so apart. If my God, um, what's this new trend way? That name is so funny. Dev Baker. Dev Baker. School of Business, I guess. Yeah, That's a business. It's, really, it's actually really, it's actually really nice. Though. It's nice. It's just the build to me. Eh? The yeah, building just look like, older than you know what you see you over, which is a bit too shiny. This looks like a legit place to yeah, I think this is where we can now. You see now, this is the parking I was talking about, where so you can just park here and wait. Mm. But um, I'm looking at this and it's saying something like medical. Medical court. Law building. That's true. They even study. Can you can you study law here? Yeah, like it's. They say law building. Actually, amazing. Yeah. Law building. Law building. Campus drive. Oh, the law building is over there. You can study law here. You can study medicine. You can study agriculture. They have. I think they have like more faculties here than what they have in the U of R. And then. Um, it's more. Can do I say it's more like? Prof, I don't want to say professional. <laughs> no, professional is not the word, but it's more like an actual school of law, school of this thing. What do that's you have? Campus security. Oh, that's campus security. Health science building is right here. So there's health sciences, and then they have their medical we're stuff separate. The, so we're going back. Okay, this is the main road here. So if we want to still go back, oh, they have the dental clinic it's over here. Um, we can probably just turn around. They have marking all day. Oh, they have a chapel. It's a chapel here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because campus place is very behind. Oh, see, main entrance parking now is here. Okay, so. So we can go. What the fuck is the campus police following you? So, why is he following you? Oh, yeah, just park. There's a college of education since 1927. I wish you could enter that place. Guys, they have an animal science building. You can come and study it if you want. No, animal science, veterinary, and I'm guessing since, and all of that good stuff. And I'm guessing since it's COVID, the school is not even full yet. <gasps> like most of the classes are not in person yet. Definitely, because if at this time it's only like 4 p.m. and everywhere is looking so dry, dry. We're walking to the engineering building. That's it over there. Because of course, as engineers. Now only that one won't see now. <laughs> ah, 
and it's really cold i am freezing like freezing 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 cold no it's cold i'm like ah! they say it's not that bad for her i guess we know the canadians turn right i like what i am seeing right there so it's 57 campus drive that's where you find the engineering building so we are getting in as we are engineering students who want to come and see the competitor to the u of r oh this is the second one the second one Wait. Wait. It's open. The engineering laboratory. This is that. Hydrotechnical lab. Okay. Hey guys, I came here because I can totally relate to engineering. So don't feel bad if I don't go to your faculty. This university is so big and we don't want to like get lost. So they have chemical engineering, obviously. They have the they have their pictures so this is how they always put pictures when you're graduating they always put you always come here and you must see your class picture here because like you of our is like you of our own there it's always full on the on the on the wall like you see chemical you see um industrial um in this petroleum everything so these are people's research papers that got published that got published on Science Direct. So these are all the papers that got published on by the students. Somebody is just cleaning. Then, oh, so because this is the Department of Chemical Engineering, oh, what the, oh, we're seeing, we're seeing stuff like heat transfer between gas, stuff like microbial foil, foil cell and stuff. Apparently, this is a place for postdoctoral students, grad students something inside there i don't know what they do there don't ask me i'm just uh, there's nobody to give us a tour we don't have any tour guide with us so i think these are just rooms for grad students this section grad students washroom washroom it says gender neutral washroom so anybody man woman if you think so you'll be man you think you can use it if you think you're a woman you can use it we just left chemical engineering now we are in civil engineering department and I am intrigued. I love this. I like what I'm seeing. Haha. <laughs> oh. Okay. I like this. Civil engineering is reducing our impact on surface water and groundwater quality through sewage treatment plants. Providing water resources. Huh? Stewards of the environment. So like civil engineering yeah they do a lot of designing designing bridges then designing roadways designing um creating like water works and stuff taking pride in buildings as you see here and stuff so that's their service to society that's what they represent there and then this one is the stewards of the environment what they focus on so going again so we have environmental engineering this way oh wow this is a big 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 faculty like there are these things are so good i don't know what is here i'm going to come back here i'm getting excited for being this in this place and this is environmental engineering oh my god like in our faculty we also design stuff like this you have to always bring up a chart for your project so this is what i think they did so well for their capstone project and they did they got like uh, they got recognized i had to breathe out here so and then their labs are just here as well environmental lab so this is what their classroom look like Ta -da! Ta -da! classroom is not looking bad at all the hallways look beautiful as well i think this is a library where you can study i think you can study here i'm standing outside i'm looking through the window because I know they access to this school now so wow college of engineering alumni world of distinction this is alumni <laughs> these are the from people from the 19 1920 something <laughs> oh my god you guys look at this so out of we're looking at this board and it's only men guess what the only woman here the, woman, the only woman standing here she is Ta -da. 
And there's also biological engineering. Interesting. So I've been walking around. We're well, walking around the U of R campus, the U of S campus, and it is so big. Like we're just in the in the faculty of engineering, and we haven't even gone upstairs. We're just on the first floor. And to tell you that this place is really huge, I don't know. I can't go around. I'm just going to like do go through some of the faculties that exist, some of the departments that exist in this place, and then we see. Because I don't know at this point. And I'm tired. I'm really tired. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what's upstairs. So, we're just looking at the dean's list. And what, we're no what I'm noticing here is that in, in the U of R, right? In the U of R, when you're looking at their engineering list, you'll see so many Nigerian names. Not only Nigerian, but like most, I feel like many black, there are many black people, African. But here it's more of Uyibo <laughs> Uyibo names. Uyibo Uyibo names. To tell you how there are many more um, this thing, international students in the U of R than in this place. I don't know why there's that difference, but I know that's what I'm noticing as I'm looking at this board. Because when you look at the engineering, this thing. Hmm. This is on honors list though, this list. Ah, what are you saying? That so we're not intelligent. Hmm? We're not intelligent. No, absolutely. So because this university is so big, and me and Corey, they were just looking at things, at the residence, like how much is it to live on campus and stuff. But they have options. They have a lot of options. They have um, residences for male only, female only, and the ones for co-ed. So male and female can stay together. So brothers and sisters can even live together. But then we check the price, and then it's like this. Well, this one is just for Voyager place. For, for Voyager place, though. If you're going to Voyager place. That's the one that most people stay in, right? I the guess. The one that most people stay in. So, we're looking at it and it says a single unit is $10,250. What? What? Is this for like, okay, for this for a full term, so for eight months? Yeah, for eight months. But that's the lot. For eight that's months. That would be how much per month? So eight divided by eight. One thousand something per month. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's technically yeah. just the same amount you pay if you want a one bedroom, though. Right. Like, yeah. Money. Or actually, maybe just putting the full amount there is a bit scary. Yeah. Yeah. It's scary. And then they have this one. Well, for a full eight month term. Okay, okay, that's because you have to pass semester, they have to reach the gas on are like five thousand dollars. Oh, yeah, and you over, yeah. yeah. So, we're looking at this one, and so one bedroom, eight thousand eight hundred and thirty two. Uh, well, when the money is in bulk like this, it's, it's like it oof. makes it look like, oof, yeah, lot, right? but these yeah, are the and they have options for people who have kids too. If you have kids, you can stay in one of so they, they have quite a lot of options compared to the U of R. So, yeah, room offer acceptance fee. Oh, 877 per month. That's actually not bad. This one is not one bad. Bedroom. I swear, I but this one will go ugly, sure. I'm sure. <laughs> you don't even know what it looks like. You know, one thing I've noticed though is that the buildings may look, they stay, they are longer than, you know, they've been here longer than. Yeah, the buildings are. are looking older than you over. But inside, inside mm -hmm. actually looks like pretty good. Like, literally, if you look inside this building, it looks very similar to you. For real. Like when you look at the way the like buildings are set up, the set the the, is, yeah, the way they are set up, this is how a bit similar. it's similar to what we have in Europe. Honestly, not to lie. It's just, this place is more. This there like, is more what? If the when we reach this place, nineteen o seven. No, we saw outside nineteen twenty something. No, that's you. That's College of Education. That's oh, okay. But if you Google it, uh -huh. um, it's apparently. Like the whole university basically started in 1907. 1907. Yeah. 1907. Yeah. Hey, it's so old. <laughs> it has existed for long. Let's be honest. It's been. It's come a long way. It's more historical, actually. Nice. We're so tired, though. We cannot do this for all any for any other faculty. In fact, for other faculties, we don't tire. It have do for today. Correct. Winter never come, but I am dying. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Small size classes. Their classes are small size. I think. I, is this is this in other classroom? Yeah, I saw those classrooms, but then we have some small small classrooms like that in your bar. But I don't know if you see that they are first year classrooms. Like first year, you know that most 
first years, so we have in general classes. classes right? like, and those are problems that will affect you, but they will not go around the whole thing, too. So, where your job place, residence, whatever, residence office. Really not in the buildings are just looking one kind. Imagine that this is your residence. This 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 place, this one. But then you don't have you ever even entered inside? I've not entered inside, but from outside, inside, you don't even know that it even looks better than From outside it just looks weird. But it's not bad though. I'm saying it looks nice. It definitely just the design of the buildings, the way they the way they designed them with this it's kind of olden style, you know, kind of thing. I actually like the design though. You like what? It actually looks like say person they are abroad. <laughs> this place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's keep going. So I think these people have kids here. So where are we going now? We are going home now. Yep. We are back in the creep and hunger has started hitting us so we have to eat and drink again. I wish we had like alcohol but I see if this period is not an alcohol time because both of us are driving. So everybody's kind of being cautious it's been a good day in saskatoon we were able to go like the what, what made us not to go through the university was because first of all parking is not easy parking is hard like there's been a whole um issue trying to find parking we we're just turning and turning around for like how many minutes already trying to find parking so like i swear like up to 30 minutes or something just trying to find parking but eventually we found one place and then we parked there and then we decided to go to the engineering building and that's the only building we we're able to go into because we, i the, the, the school is too big like it's really big and we can't tour that school in one day no it's impossible by the time we're done the second floor of the engineering building we're just like you know what we're done for the day let's just go and rest yeah um from what i can see i'm just going to see you guys have fun though live your life if you have to go out like this come to canada at least when you come to canada you have a sense of independence you can decide that okay i want to go for a trip you don't have to stay in the luxurious hotel you don't have to stay in a place that you're going to spend too much money just cut it beyond your own limits do what you can do cut your code according to your size don't go and do past yourself eh do the one that you can do have fun chill relax and then you bounce back and get back to what you're supposed to do get back to work or something so yeah i think that me and Corey day we just had to you know chip in something try and make ourselves feel comfortable pamper ourselves yes <laughs> and then we go back and we walk again and then cover up for our expenses that we have spent here well not say we have spent the world's money we cannot just be spending anyhow you know we just do something once in a while so please don't be afraid when you come to Canada. Stop as you will not be asking money from your parents who will carry you to go and I don't know to go and live life or something or maybe do something fun. You will do it by yourself. That's why I like this place. There's that sense of independence. You can work your own money, do your own stuff, um, spend the money and then make the money again. So it's just a cycle. It's just a cycle. It's just a cycle. The money remains here in the country. That's the that's the good thing about this place. You work, you give it back, and then you make money again back. So that's life anyways let's go and see what we're going to eat i'm going to eat rice this rice i'm going to eat african rice so it's not rice from you know Yubo rice is rice and chicken that we'll just eat now <laughs> let me go and bring mine and show you people what i'm going to eat after this maybe we're going to go out again no i don't know depending on how we feel if we don't eat and sleep off because it's a tendency for us to eat and just start saying that i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired or we'll just sleep help our life so yeah and i have my drink here it's just apple juice it's just apple juice nothing serious we are leaving we are out out of here we'll miss you we'll miss this room it was nice it was nice hanging out well since it was this morning we left everywhere like this because <laughs> just had to go they'll come and do their job we tried guys we are out coco is ready to go me my box is all packed and we are out okay. i'm just pulling my box
it was actually lovely being here for these two days did i say two days one and a half day <laughs> one and a half day actually is there anything coming here again hmm? anything yeah. good we are out here our days are over in saskatoon we just want to like go to one more place one more stop and then we are out of here but the cold this morning is it's unexplainable i don't know it's so cold today so we are taking pictures <laughs> i will go go take pictures <laughs> but not to worry we are good it's only me that will dress as if i'm as if it's summer because i'm not feeling like you it's past it is it is still october yeah. I know that's true because snow it's always snowing at this time. By this time of the year we used to get like snow already. But we haven't, so that's a good thing for us because I'm not ready for the snow yet. I think we need to get a new winter jacket. I'm not ready. Sure. It's not short. It's still it's too short. Let, let's tell you what happened to it today. So in the morning we finally woke up and made the breakfast time. Then we had our old mask, but I had my old, I had the old one. Coco, not find Coco soon. That's how we said to go and enter the breakfast place. The man just said, face mask please, it's mandatory. Face mask please, we don't go chop. Oh. We're going to eat. You still remove the face mask to eat. But we said I will not eat that. We'll just carry the food and go upstairs. The man just said, oh, okay. It's five. So we're like, oh, does, does he have a face mask? It's like spare ones or something. He said, um, it's five cents each. Five 50. cents. Oh, 50. 50. Ah! I was supposed to say five. 50 cents. 50 cents. I was like, Jesus. I know it's not. No, no, no. It's not. It's not a lot. You could have just given us for free. Exactly. It's not. It's not like we're saying that it is a lot. I must say, it's the way he said, oh, 50 cents. 50 cents. You know, we say we'll not get 50 cents, but sometimes it's a kind of money that you're like, like, really, like, bro. <laughs> you know you can just give it to us. Don't want carry food. Go upstairs. That's all. But anyways, companies are just cutting costs. When it comes to all these face max things, they're ever they're trying to make money from it. Everybody make your money. Me, I'm not against it, but I'm just saying the way it was like face max. I said we will not pay money for the hotel. We stay for there for free. <laughs> you know. So we just got it away. Like okay, oh, give us, give it, add it to the tab, whatever. Yeah, give us. We're in for that. But it was just furniture. Yep. That was what happened. Coco has missed exit, missed road. What you can't have seen change though. It, it was it. Oh, you're right. Oh, I'm right. Yeah. It's just the road that is turning, that is bending. Oh, 